welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel if you're new Taylor here and you guys just saw what I was looking like I'm seven weeks out today it is Saturday I'm just gonna do a full day of eating for you guys today and a little prep update so I am headed to the grocery store now I am all out of bread and some fruit and some different things that I need so I'm gonna pick up some stuff I'll show you what I end up getting but it's around 1140 I uh, haven't eaten yet I had two coffees so I had a coffee this morning after I did my check-in my sister came she's in the area she brought me a small coffee and we went for a little drive and I'm getting hungry I realized there was no bread or things that I wanted to make some food today so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get out and go today's a rest day for me I woke up today I was 129 pounds so all week I was sitting at around 128 um, yesterday I got like 14 or 15 thousand steps in I did train legs yesterday and I woke up in the middle of the night and my legs were literally like throbbing. I have been stretching a lot and the last three nights I've honestly like woke up in the middle of the night and just had to like stretch in the middle of the night because I've been so stiff and sore. I haven't had any Flex XT or my joint supplements which help a lot with inflammation. In the last few days I'm waiting for my order to get in and it's just a little bit delayed um, right now so hopefully my Jack Factor order gets here very soon um, because that stuff definitely does help a lot especially when calories are lower. I've just been finding that I'm a little bit more stiff than usual. So I'm gonna really try to hydrate today, kick my feet up, enjoy this rest day, and yeah. So I think that my weight's up a little bit just because I'm a bit inflamed and maybe a bit dehydrated. So that's normal, I'm not too concerned. I think that my check-in on Monday is gonna be really good. I'm looking forward to it. So you guys kind of saw what I was looking like. There's no change in training or cardio um, until my check-in on Monday, but we are dropping food a little bit just to kind of go with the flow I'm feeling really good I want to push now I'd rather be ready early as per usual so yeah um, we had a little update as for what the plan is for the bubble in Nova Scotia and um, Newfoundland and all of that so as of right now everything is set to be open for Canada Day July 1st so we should be able to travel in between provinces so the show is supposed to be July 17th and the 24th those two weekends back to back so we should be pretty much good to go everything seems to be scheduled as planned so we're gonna keep pushing through and I'm super excited, seven weeks out. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna really focus on resting today. Calories are a little lower, so I figured it'd be a good day to do a full day of eating. Show you guys how I get kind of creative with like low carb, low cal, and um, honestly pushing my meals back to like dinner time, having coffee to time me over in the morning is a way that I kind of like to go about that. I don't like to eat a whole lot before bed either, so I like to have a little window in the afternoon where I have more flexibility to have meals and things that make me feel really good and satiated and and um, things I enjoy, especially on the weekend. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And we will see you guys after the grocery store. I'll show you what I get and keep you posted on what I have for my first meal. Classically went in to get yogurt and bread. I ended up getting a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got probably once I get in the door into the apartment. Um, I'm honestly freezing. It started pouring as soon as I left the house. I knew it wasn't gonna be so great out today, but I of course didn't take a hood and didn't prepare, so it's my own fault. Super excited to get home and make some food. I think I'm gonna do French toast as per usual, but if anything changes, I'll show you. And I have some new things here. I wanna show you guys too, some, some new sauces and spices and drinks and like random stuff. So I'll do a little mini grocery haul, I guess, once we get home and we'll get to making meal number one. Okay, so I'm just gonna run through what I got at the grocery store really quickly. So I got Weight Watchers bread. This is usually what I make my French toast with. Multigrain and whole wheat, um, or I'll just use like any 45 to 50 calorie bread for it or a high protein bread. Um, I picked up these over one. It is 20 calories, four carbs, zero fat, and zero protein. I find these really good if my carbs are low and I just need like, a quick snack. I'll just put like nut butter and different spreads on them. I also got these for a little snack. And for a serving, it's three fat, 14 carb, and two protein. Green beans. Got three things of plain fat-free Greek yogurt. Veggie straws. I got a case of Fresca, which is calorie-free. Just because I find as carbs and calories get lower, um, I like to have like different types of zero-calorie drinks on hand just to kind of sip throughout the day. Kind of feels like a little bit of a treat. I really like Fresca anyways. It's good like mix and whatnot to have around the house. I left it in the car because I didn't have enough hands to bring it in right now, but I also got the G2, so the Gatorade Zero. It's like 10 calories per Gatorade. I like the blue flavor personally the best, so they didn't have any left, so I got pink and just some Perrier lime waters. 
cucumber, blueberries, strawberries. I found this ice cream the other day in the Sobeys that I go to and it's like a low carb ice cream and it's dairy free and sugar free. There are sugar alcohols so it can bother your stomach. Sugar alcohols usually do bother me but it's a nice little treat to have on hand if you have cravings or anything like that. So it's higher in fat but it's lower carb and um, low protein. So 110 calories per 71 grams. Um, and it's eight fat, one carb, and two protein. And there's no fiber in it either, but I got the vanilla caramel flavor this time. Um, I had the vanilla fudge one last time and it was really good. And in my opinion, it tastes better than Halo Top. So obviously it's a high fat option, but I sometimes find it hard to hit my fats anyways when my carbs are low. So on days that I'm busy and I want a little treat or a snack, especially now that it's getting warmer out, like ice cream is something that I kind of crave more. That's a really good option for me to have on hand. And that's the great thing about tracking macros and being flexible and all of that. So I'm excited to try that. I found this little guy too. It's a no sugar added dairy free coconut cream and almond beverage for your coffee. So the one that I've been using has been pretty high calorie. So I wanted to grab something that's a bit lower calorie to have on hand for my coffees. So it's five calories per tablespoon, zero carb, half fat, and no protein pretty much. So I'm excited to try this out in my coffee that I have now in a minute. I got castor oil. Um, for my eyebrows and my eyelashes. And then I got a bunch of spices and sauces. So I got sriracha sauce, also got honey mustard. I really like honey mustard on like wraps and like random things and just my chicken and stuff in general. I'm a big mustard person and usually on prep I put mustard on everything, but I wanted to get some different flavored stuff. So I got honey mustard and I also got two things of the sweet and spicy mustard. I've heard amazing things about this. A lot of my friends use this and it's super low calorie. So I'm gonna use this, I think, just for like veggies and meat and random things in general. It's one carb per serving, five calories, so. And then I just got this chicken broth. Um, for when we make our chicken in the oven and just different things and chipotle mango seasoning. And then that is pretty much it. So it ended up being a decent amount of groceries, but I just needed some snacks and things to have on hand. I think being prepared is the key when it comes to meal prep and dieting and all of that. So we were getting low on some snacks and different items. So I figured I would grab some stuff and get ahead of it for the week. And yeah, it's around one o'clock, I'm starving. So I'm gonna make a little coffee and sip on that while my breakfast dinner lunch thing is being made. I'll show you guys what I have and what it looks like. I've been pushing meal one back pretty late so I can have more of a satiating meal. I used to honestly eat a bunch, like tons and tons of super low calorie snacks throughout the day. I never felt full and satisfied. And honestly, fats are so satiating as well as super high protein meals. So I've been finding pushing things back, having a couple coffees in the morning, lots of water, um, getting my body adjusted to that, pushing things back till dinner time um, or even after and having a meal that I genuinely enjoy and honestly just super satiating, just really satisfying. I don't know, just fuels my day in a really good way. It seems to be working for me now. So although my calories are dropping, I still feel pretty good. So it's awesome, it's working for me. You gotta do what works best for you, but this is what I'm kind of doing. So yeah, I'm gonna have my snack now. So I'm gonna do some Greek yogurt with some frozen berries and some stevia and cinnamon. This has been like a go-to snack. Same thing, super high protein, super satiating. It is pretty low fat, but I had a pretty high fat breakfast. You guys saw I had the peanut butter on my French toast. So yeah, um, that's kind of like a go-to snack for me. I have it pretty well every single day. I use the lactose-free, plain fat free Greek yogurt. I really like that because you can kind of use it as like sour cream alternative, but you can also use it when you sweeten it, like as like a yogurt, I don't know. So adding stevia and cinnamon and frozen berries kind of gives you the extra flavor that you're missing from like a flavored yogurt or a regular yogurt, but not the carbs and calories. And I wanted to mention too, before I make my snack, obviously these macros are my macros. Normally I don't even share my macros, but I'm just kind of taking you guys along with me. My calories are subject to me. Yours are subject to you. You need to work with your body. What works for me and my daily activity and lifestyle is not gonna be the same as what works for you. You need to 
monitor your own stuff. I actually just recently downloaded a new app called Prosper. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. If you are using my fitness pal, I highly recommend that you check out Prosper instead just because I've made that switch this week. It just offers so many other great benefits besides just being able to log your food, especially with the premium side of things. But in general, you can just generate like meal plans and you can fill your macros in the way you need to. Maybe I'll do a little video talking about that app or just how to use it. If you guys are interested in that, comment down below or send me a DM. However, I will link it down below because that's what I've been using to log my food. I've just been finding it super user friendly and easy. So yeah, um, anyways, I'm a little hungry. So we're gonna go get a snack. We have some friends coming over. We're allowed to have five people now in our household at a time. So we have two friends coming over to hang out and just chill with us. I think that my friends and my roommate are gonna have a few drinks. So I'm probably just gonna have Perrier water and some Gatorade and just chill with them, play some music, enjoy myself still. Although I'm not drinking, I can still enjoy the company and presence of others and that is the main thing. So yeah, I'm gonna have a snack before they get here so I don't feel like tempted to snack on whatever they're snacking on. And I'll show you guys whatever else I decide to eat for my dinner and snacks and all of that. But for now, we're gonna mix up meal number two, which is gonna be Greek yogurt and berries. Okay, so I lied. I didn't use any frozen berries. I just decided to go all in with the fresh berries. I did 80 grams of strawberry and 40 grams of blueberry on top. I can't wait. This is like one of my favorite snacks and I literally didn't even like yogurt growing up at all. Like I would always have yogurt with my lunches and just like throw it out and not to my parents. But now I'm obsessed. So there you have it. Meal number two. So you saw what I had for my snack. I tried out that ice cream and it actually was really good. I think I might like the caramel one better than the fudge one. But if sugar alcohols do bother you, just keep that in mind because there is sugar alcohols in there. I personally really like it, so I'm happy with it. It was very satisfying. And like I said, in the summertime when there's lots of treats around and all of that, it's good to have a little treat on hand. It is the weekend. I like to treat myself here and there, so happy that I had that little snack. I have diet taste buds, but I still think it's pretty good. And Em tried it out earlier and she said she actually really liked it too. So if you try out that ice cream, let me know. I just got it at a local grocery store in like the organic aisle, I'm pretty sure in the freezers. But yeah, um, I also had some extra lean ground beef with some green beans for like my dinner, I guess. I really do like green beans. I feel like you get a lot of volume for the calories. I personally just like the way they taste. And also with the ground beef, I've been doing lean beef or actually lean beef as my meat for the most part lately. I just find it digests a lot better. Um, chicken, I find really hard to digest. I find it like inflames me, if that makes sense. I know my coach, De Raja, has the same issue too. So I usually like to stick to like egg whites, um, ground beef, and like white fish and stuff at this point in prep when things are kind of a bit harder to digest and calories are lower. So that is what I'm going with. We actually rinse and drain our beef to just get it like to basically just get rid of all of the extra fat. So we're a bit excessive, but we season it well. So that's what I had for my dinner. I'm probably just gonna grab something. It's around nine o'clock now. I'm just doing some work and I have the game on. We're just kind of chilling here. So once I figure out what it is I'm having for my last snack, I will show you and then that'll be pretty much it for the evening. I'm also gonna grab some Hydra Surge just because I wanna make sure I get a lot of electrolytes in and stay super hydrated today because last night I definitely felt dehydrated. So I'll probably do a scoop or two of this before bed as well. Okay, so for our last little snack, we have some more smooth light peanut butter, two rice cakes, just the plain ones. And I have plain fat free Greek yogurt mixed up with no sugar added strawberry jam. So I'm kind of doing like a PB and J themed rice cake thingy, I guess. So I'll show you what it looks like once it's all done. Okay, so there you have it. <laughs> Doesn't really look that appetizing, but it does taste pretty good, I must say. So I'm just gonna taste test it here. It's been a minute since I've actually had it. It's really good. I'm excited to get to the center where the peanut butter is, but that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for another little prep update in a couple of days a physique update all of that and you'll definitely be seeing a workout for me this week at some point point. and yeah thanks for following thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next video